It happened one day near December's end. Two neighbors called on an old time friend. They found his shop so meager and lean, but made gay with a thousand boughs of green. And Conrad was sitting with face a shine, and suddenly stopped as he stitched a twine. And said, old friends, at dawn today, as the rooster was crowing the night away, the Lord appeared in a dream to me. And he said, I am coming your guest to be. So I've been busy with feet of stir, dressing my shop with branches of fur. The table is spread and the kettle is shined. Over the rafters the holly is twined. So now I'll wait for my Lord to appear. I'll listen closely so I might hear his footsteps as he nears my place. And I'll open the door and look upon his face. So his friends went home, leaving Conrad alone. But this was the happiest day he had known. For all his family had passed away. And he had spent many a sad Christmas day. But he knew with the Lord as his Christmas guest, this would no doubt be the dearest and best. So he listened with joy, filling his heart. And with every sound, he'd rise with a start and look for the Lord to be at his door, just like the vision he'd seen a few hours before. So he ran to the window after hearing a sound, but all he could see on the snow-covered ground was a shabby beggar whose shoes were torn and all his clothes were ragged and worn. Conrad was touched, so he went to the door. And he said, your feet must be frozen and sore. I have shoes in my shop, I'll give those to you. And a coat that'll keep you much warmer too. So with grateful heart, the man went away. And then Conrad noticed the time of day. And he wondered what made the Lord so late and how much longer he'd have to wait. Then there was a knock, so he ran to the door, but saw it was only a stranger once more. A bent old lady with a shawl of black and a bundle of kindling piled on her back. She asked for only a warm place to rest. Of course, that was reserved for his special guest. But her voice seemed to plead Please let me stay. She said, I'll rest a few minutes, then be on my way. So Conrad brewed her a steaming cup, then said, set at the table. I have food enough. And after she left, he was filled with dismay, for he saw the hours were slipping away. And the Lord hadn't come like he said he would. So Conrad thought maybe he misunderstood then out of the stillness, he heard a cry. Help, someone please tell me where am I? So again, he opened his friendly door and he stood disappointed like twice before. It was only a child who had wandered away and she was lost from her family on Christmas day. Again, Conrad's heart was heavy and sad but he knew he should help find her mom and dad. So he called her in and wiped away her tears, and he quieted all her childish fears, then helped her get back home once more. But as he entered his own darkened door, he knew the Lord wasn't coming today, for the hours of Christmas had passed away. So he went to his room and he knelt down to pray. He said, Lord, what happened? Did I make a mistake? What kept you from coming to call on me? I wanted so much your face to see. And then in the silence, a voice was heard saying, lift up your head. I kept my word. Three times I came and knocked on your door. Three times my shadow crossed your floor. For I was a beggar with bruised cold feet. I was the woman you gave something to eat. I was the child who was lost and alone. 
and you cared enough to help get back home. Three times I knocked, three times I came in, and each time found the warmth of a friend. Of all the gifts, love is the best. I was honored to be your Christmas guest. Christmas on the Pecos will be right back. <laughs> 